How's it going guys? This is Lucian Sword and thank you for clicking on this video. Before we start, I just want to say that I'm not trying to trash Brahalla or call out the devs in particular. I actually love Brahalla and I think it's a great game with a lot of potential to be even better. I've played the game for a few years now. Can't believe it. And there are some features that I feel should be in the game by now, as well as features that should be added to the game in the future. So let's go ahead and jump into it. Here are my ideas on how to make Brawlhalla a better game. Well, let's talk about crossplay. Crossplay is something that everyone has been calling for ever since Brawlhalla became multi platform by releasing on the PS4 back in October of 2017. It's great that Brawlhalla is on multiple platforms, but we want to play together, you know. Like you can do in Rocket League and Fortnite and pretty much any other multi-platform online game nowadays. Take a look at this tweet from Brawlhalla saying crossplay will be turned on in a week or two after it was released on the PS4. A year and a half after making that tweet, we're still waiting. Now to be fair, they have made progress on this in recent months, and if you're watching this video in the future, it may already be out, but until that switch is flipped, I'm not going to be very happy about the fact that my PS4 friends can't play with me on PC. Once Crossplay finally does arrive, then the very next thing that everybody's going to be asking for is account linking. So let's assume for now that BMG actually delivers on its nearly two-year-old promise of giving us Crossplay. Great! So now I can play Brawlhalla on my Switch with my PC friends while I'm out and about. Oh wait, where are all my skins? If you play Brawlhalla, there's a good chance that you've purchased skins or other items in the game. And if you've ever tried to play Brawlhalla on a different platform, you quickly realize that the accounts are completely separate. And you would have to rebuy the same skins on each platform. I've already spent hundreds of dollars on Brawlhalla on PC, and I would love to play on the Switch or PS4, but only if I have access to my same account. BMG has said that they are looking into this and they may be able to use Ubisoft to make account linking a reality. So let's hope that they don't take two years after Crossplay to make this a reality. Next on my list is clans and specifically I want clans on consoles to actually work and I also want better clan features. Like why can't we have clan battles like they are in Rocket League? Like. I'm, I'm going to compare a lot of things to Rocket League, and honestly, these games have nothing to do with each other, but there's some online features that I think uh, Rocket League does pretty good. It could be better, but clan battles is one. So like when you're in a clan in Rocket League, and you're, you're in your squad with all your clan mates, and you're just searching a regular online game, it could be ranked, it could be casual, and let's say you happen to go against a, a team that is also composed of members of another clan. The game will automatically recognize that you're both in clans and it, when the match starts, it will make the colors for the field and all of your cars and everything your clan colors automatically. It's just really cool. Um, that would be nice. Also, how about clan rewards? You know, you can level up your clan, but all it does is give you more space to have more clan members. How about actual rewards like maybe clan avatars or maybe like a skin or color? that you can only use for your clan, like maybe when you get your clan to max level you can actually like make your own custom clan colors, anything like that. How about some clan leaderboards, clan rankings, anything like that. I mean there's a lot that they could do with clans, but first they need to actually get clans going on consoles. This is way, way beyond like how being late to the party, like they need to get that done. And then once they do get that done, they need to flesh it out a little bit more. Otherwise, what's the point of even having it in the game? All right, since we're on the topic of, like, I don't know, expanding on the game, how about story mode or any kind of, like, I don't know, more in-depth single-player experience? You know, I would love to see uh, Brahalla have a story mode for each legend to go with or expand upon the lore, you know? They have the lore in the game, but it's kind of buried and it's just a paragraph of text, you know. I would like to see a little bit, maybe some minor cutscenes, you know, between the legends. Like, the lore is setting up really interesting uh, dynamics and character relationships, but we never actually get to see any of those really, you know, happen before our eyes. We don't get to see the interaction between the legends. 
and what they're doing when they're not battling in Valhalla, you know? It would just give more meaning and purpose to offline play. And, you know, not everybody can play online. I mean, most of the people can, obviously, but it would just be nice to have a story mode. Another thing that I would like, and I think everybody would like in Brawlhalla, is better servers. Like, why are we still lagging in 2019? Like, I have really good internet, and I don't lag in any other game. Well, okay, Rocket League a little bit, but where's the better servers? Like, come on, man. Also, why can't I have custom colors in every game mode? Seriously, we can only use one, or I'm sorry, two colors when we're doing custom 2v2. Red and blue, that's it. But if I do experimental 2v2, or rank 2v2, or any other game mode, I can pick any color I want. But why can I not pick any color in custom 2v2? It drives me bonkers that that's a thing. How about also allowing selecting of weapon colors be separate from the armor colors? You know, this would be so cool. I would love to be able to change my weapon color because sometimes when I'm picking my armor color, I think the, the legend looks really awesome, but I don't like the colors of the weapon, you know? And this is something that could be easily implemented because the colors are already in the game. All they would have to do is put another little uh, switch thing there so I could actually pick my weapon colors separate from the armor colors. I think it would be really fun and create some truly unique and awesome looks for the legends. Since we're talking about skins, how about earnable skins or items? Things that you can actually earn in the game without spending real money. I know that Brawlhalla is free to play, I know that they gotta make their money somehow, but Ever heard of Brawl Pass or Rocket Pass? I mean, there, there's there's ways to do it, you know? Some skins and items should be unlockable through progression or with gold or any other earnable currency or any other kind of way. I mean, not everybody can spend money. I would actually love to see Brawlhalla in, implement a Brawl Pass. I know that not everybody would like to see that, but I think it would be great. Um, when they did that for Rocket League, they introduced the Rocket Pass. At first, I was skeptical, but it actually made the game a lot more enjoyable for me. I started playing Rocket League more because of Rocket Pass. It became more fun than just grinding out the games. Now, you know, every time I level, I get something. I get an item. Even if it's a stupid item that I'm never going to use, at least I got something, you know? And then, you know, you sprinkle in here and there some really nice items, like every 10 levels. And now you have, you know, something that you can work towards, you know, and make the rocket pass. You know, the rocket pass, I think it's like 10 or 20 bucks. Make it uh, 10 bucks, you know, make brawl pass 10 bucks. And then there's a free version, which you only get like a tenth of the items if you get the free version. But you could still get the brawl pass for free and unlock a couple items here and there for free every now and then, you know. Also, uh, how about rewards beyond level 25? You know, you get a legend to level 25, you can unlock the black colors, great. I'm over halfway done unlocking black colors for every legend. You know, I would I would like to see something beyond level 25. You know, you can get your max level to 100. They really should add some rewards for at least level 50, 75, 100. You know, this could tie in with the unlockable skins that I mentioned earlier. You know, so you get to level 50, you can unlock a special skin maybe just for that legend. Or or maybe you get a special weapon skin just for that legend. You know, I don't know, something, anything. That would be nice. You know, instead of a brawl pass, if, if they really don't want to do a brawl pass, even though I think it's a good idea, how about just better challenges or, or like weekly challenges, just more challenges. I mean, right now you have the dailies, which it's almost always the same thing. Play or win, a couple games with Val or Bodvar. Play or win a couple games with Nash or Zol. Uh, come on, man. It, it, that's fine. I mean, I mean, I'm not trying to trash that, but the same challenge every day is boring. You know, why not give us a more reason to log in and play? Not just daily challenge, but how about weekly challenges that are a little harder to get? Like, I don't know, like win 10 games with Bodvar, uh, you know, or like maybe get three KOs with the hammer or get a domination in a free-for-all game or like 
I don't know, man. They they just could come up with a lot more bonus uh, weekly challenges and more challenges, it, and it's all just a way to get more people to keep playing the game. You know, you don't even have to add anything to make challenges. Just just reward XP or gold. That would be fine. So the next idea I have is, how about just better maps, better looking maps? You know, the maps are okay. They're they're not bad. But they're not great, you know. Even some of these maps, the backgrounds are really like just boring in a way. Like, you know, I wouldn't mind if there was some moving objects in the background, you know, just for a little bit of eye candy, you know. I don't want too many moving objects in the background because honestly, I that's one of the things I don't like about Super Smash Bros. is on some of the maps, there's the background is just so insane, moving and so much stuff happening that it's hard to even see your legend. You know, but I think that Brawlhalla could do with some better map art. The newer maps are definitely better, but why not just retouch, you know, some of the old maps? Give them a facelift, make them look better. I know that BMG has amazing and talented artists working for them. Put them to work, make a better map. All right, also on the art um, side of things, how about just more animated skins or more animated effects like better weapon effects you know this is pretty self-explanatory but i think this should just help the game make it more appealing to new players if it just looked a little better you know it looked a little more i don't know it's just missing that wow factor on the graphics I d i'm not saying that it can't stay 2d i actually like the 2d like hand-drawn kind of animations but you can still make it you know better looking with better graphics and stuff better effects i would also like to see more crossover legends i know some of you guys are probably like no but hear me out you know crossover legends and skins are great because they bring in new audiences from other games and it's always fun to play characters from other games in a fighting game like just don't go overboard and start making too many crossover skins. I think, like, all we want is to keep the original Brawlhalla charm and uniqueness. But, you know, once or twice a year, it would be cool to see a character from another game come into the Brawlhalla. And they've been doing this. So, you know, I, I just really want to see somebody from Assassin's Creed. But, you know, it's all good. Moving on, how about better player reporting? Like, I'm talking about when you go against somebody that's extremely toxic, tells you to go get cancer and kill yourself or something like that. You can report players, but I feel like it's just not good enough. Brahalla needs a more robust reporting system. For example, let's look at Rocket League again. This, this is a thing that Rocket League does pretty dang well. If you report a player, you can choose from a drop down of different types of issues. And then it also automatically puts a screenshot of the chat so that they already know what went down. You know, and also I've received messages letting me know that players that I've reported have been punished. They don't tell me exactly like what the punishment was, but they let me know, "Hey, thanks for reporting this person. Action was taken." You know, usually they just will soft ban you for a little while, like maybe you can't queue for a while. Um, but if the player keeps getting reported, you know, it can eventually lead to different things. Like maybe they can't chat online anymore. They can only play, they can't chat, <laughs> you know? Or ultimately, you know, a complete ban from online play. Brahalla really doesn't have that good of a reporting system and it shows because there's just so many toxic players thriving in the community. If there was a better reporting and punishing system, I think that was fair and balanced, uh, this would be much less of a problem. Moving on, how about more updates to the actual game instead of simply releasing new skins every couple weeks? Look, I love awesome new skins just as much as anybody, and I don't want them to stop making awesome new skins. However, when the devs only release new skins month after month, or even year after year, without fixing, Hardly any of the issues with the game, other than minor balances, or adding any major new features, you know, I think the priorities just need to be adjusted a little bit. I know, I know, it's a free-to-play game, and they need to make money selling skins, but the players who invest in purchasing those skins would love a game 
that is evolving and getting better all the time, not stagnating. You know, balance patches are quite common, but they are not what I'm talking about here. I'm talking about everything I just mentioned in, the, in this video already and everything I'm going to mention after. So please, just patch more features into the game that we actually want. Just a few more points, guys. I know this is pretty much a rant video, but I feel like I'm speaking for all of the community when, when I'm talking about these things. This one is a little more close to my heart. I would love BMG to have better content creator support. And I know this doesn't really apply to everybody, but there's a lot of really hard, dedicated Brawlhalla YouTubers and Twitch streamers that put a lot of effort into their Brawlhalla content and bring in tons of new people to the game and they get nothing for it. I should say we. We get nothing for it. Um, especially with other games coming out with support a creator, uh, different ways to buy things in the shop with like a code for that creator and then that creator gets a percentage. Even if they just shouted out like YouTuber of the week or Twitch streamer of the week and show it on the front of Brawlhalla. You know, even a... <laughs> I know BMG is a small dev, but that is not an excuse. Look at, uh, what's it called? Survive.io. Okay, some of you guys might know this. It's a web-based game, a browser game. It's it's basically PUBG ripoff, but it's actually a fun game. I'm actually going to say it's a really fun game. But they support their content creators better than Brawlhalla does. At least in Survive.io, on the front page, it shows, you know, hey, look, here's a couple streamers that are streaming the game right now. Go check them out. Here's, here's the YouTuber of the day for making Survive.io videos. You know, that would be great. It doesn't even have to be that, they, that they'll share some of the sales. It doesn't have to be about money. How about just acknowledging that we exist? That would be nice. How about more adjustable legend stats? I know this might like break the game, so it would have to be worked out to be balanced, but you know, it really sucks when a legend comes out with the weapons that you could only dream of. Like, let's say you're just dying for like a scythe and a sword legend, right? You can't wait until Scythe and Sword Legend. And this is just an example, I'm not picking on Jiro. But, and then Jiro comes out and like his stats are whack. And if you, if you know about the stats, you know that they can literally pretty much deem a character useless if their stats are bad. So how about instead of only letting us adjust one stat point, how about letting us adjust two? And furthermore, instead of choosing for us which stat it takes away from, how about we get to choose what it takes away from and what it when it adds to? Just let us take away and add up to two stat points. That would be awesome. All right, guys, a couple more things. How about gifting mammoth coins and skins? This is like the most basic concept. Why can we not gift mammoth coins? Why can I not gift a skin? You know, these are things that I would love to do. I would love to be able to gift a skin or gift a pack of mammoth coins directly in Brahalla. You know, that would be awesome. Or, or even just giveaway. You know, like if I'm doing a stream and I have a bunch of people in my lobby, I would love to give away, you know, some mammoth coins or maybe a skin or something. Basically, item trading. It would be really nice if we had item trading in Brahalla. In my opinion. Also guys, alright, this is, I've only got like one or two more points, I know this is getting a long video, but these are all things I just, they've been building up in me, you know? I've been playing the game a long time, I just want to get all this off my chest. I'm not trying to, like, you know, make the game to be like it's trash or anything. It's a great game, it does more good things right than it does wrong. Way more things. Obviously, I'm still playing it three years later, it's doing something right, I do love the game. But, these are just things that would make it so much better. You know, how about ranked tiers beyond diamond? You know, how about champion and grand champion? Again, like Rocket League has. They have they have platinum, diamond, then champion, then grand champion. That would be nice. Um, also, I know this, this next point probably only applies to a few people again, but it would really be nice if I had more control in a lobby. Like, for example... I want to be able to reserve a slot for a specific person. This is this is always happening to me in my streams where I have 
a hundred or two hundred or who knows how many people in the lobby, and I I want one specific person to get in a, a slot, you know, and so I kick the person who's in the slot. And just randomly, everybody's just randomly pressing A and getting in, and I can never get a specific person in. I want more control. I want to be able to reserve a spot for a specific person that I choose who's already in the lobby. You know, that would be so useful. Also, what would be really useful is, like, a King of the Mountain feature where it automatically will demote or promote whoever loses or wins. You know, that would be nice. Or just being able to automatically make a queue so like instead of people having to spam the button and whoever gets in gets in it would be nice if it could just automatically have a list and you press a to join the list and people will join in the order of the list you know that would be so useful for streamers and again that just goes back to supporting creators you know bmg i love you guys but you really need to do something to support your creators a little better anything that I mentioned in the video would be great. Alright guys, to close it out, I just want to say I love Brahalla. I love the developers as well. The weekly live streams are always lighthearted and fun. They do a good job of interacting with the community and I would say better than most devs. Better than most devs. Let's just hope that they continue to make this game as good as it can possibly be. Thank you guys for watching my video. Did I miss something? Do you disagree with me? Let's continue the conversation in the comments below. As always guys, this is Lucian Sword. Take it easy.